In this video, we'll take a look at how projects and variants are created and configured in Altium Designer. Initially, we need a project in which all possible variants of the device are thought out and included on the circuit board. For example, let's create a variant of the mini PC without the display port. In our project, there is a dedicated schematic with components for the display port interface. This will make it more convenient to make changes and exclude them from the new PCB variant. To create a new variant, let's go to the projects menu and run the variants command. Variants are created and configured using the Variant Management dialog. The dialog box contains two main areas. The top area lists all components in the base project and displays columns for variants when created. The bottom area contains information on all parameters of the selected components. To create a new variant, select Add Variant from the bottom left. In the window that opens, enter the name of the new variant in the description field. First, let's create a variant that uses all the components on the board and name it all. This will be the same as the base project. If needed, it is possible to add parameters relevant to the different variants. There is also a checkbox that allows variations for different fabrication outputs. This will be covered in a separate video. After selecting OK, the variant will be created and shown in a separate column. By selecting the variant cell of a component, it is possible to change the component assignment to fitted, not fitted, or to an alternative part. One thing to note, when creating a new variant, by default, all components are assumed fitted and the cells will be empty. Also, for a component, it is possible to change parameter values in the component parameters table below. Details about component variations and their parameters will be covered by a separate video. Now let's create a variant of the project without a display port. A new column will appear for the new variant. If the components that we need to exclude are on the same schematic sheet, then it is most convenient to sort the components using the document column. For any component, you can run the cross probe command from the context menu to see the component in the schematic sheet. The components for the new variant can be excluded by either selecting them one at a time from the variant component cell, or by group selecting several components using the shift key and using the context menu to set the variant to not fitted. Please note, Altium Designer has additional tools for managing component variants in the schematic editor. This will be covered in a separate video. To create project variants similar in composition, it is convenient to use the clone selected variant option. Just make sure the appropriate variant column is selected. Next, set the name and click OK and a copy of the selected variant is created, in which you can make additional changes as required. To edit the name or delete a variant, you must also first select it by its column header. In this case, we will delete the clone variant. In the Variant Manager, the context menu contains tools for managing the displayed components. For example, you can easily choose to display only components with variations. After creating and configuring the variants, save the changes by selecting OK. The newly created variants are now part of the project and are available from the Projects panel. At this point, it is advisable to save the project file. Component variants can be seen in the schematic sheet by selecting the tab at the bottom left of the schematic and by double-clicking on the variant in the Projects panel. Also, while we are in the Variant view, we have access to tools for working with variations of the components on the schematic sheet. The difference in the composition of components for different variants can also be seen on the printed circuit board. This is better illustrated by switching to the 3D view. The different variants will be reflected in the output documents such as builds and materials and assembly drawings. These will be covered in a separate video.